I'm an event planner by trade and do the driving, drive for Uber and Lyft. Since I've been driving for Uber and Lyft, I have become much more patient with drivers. Why? I don't know. I can just say that God's with me because otherwise I'd probably have to strangle somebody. <laughs> One of my favorite stories is the gentleman got into my vehicle, flew in there and said, I just got fired. As we were talking, um, he said to me, I'm an alcoholic. And then he told me how he's not good for anything. A song came on the radio called Fear is a Liar. I said to the gentleman, let's just listen to this song. I want you to hear this song. In the middle of the song, he starts saying, God, please help me. You, knew, you know what I need, Lord. Help me. Give me give me what I need. He left, and I thought, you know, I'll never see this guy again. But I see him a week later. He gets in my vehicle, and the first words he says is, I've got a job. How much more could you ask for but to be able to get an answer from the prayer that we had the week before? The day that the sermon with, was with the Battle Ready cards, uh, my, my daughter and her friend weren't able to, and her, their families weren't able to come to church that day. And so I grabbed two extra Battle Ready cards. When I got to my car, I thought, you know what, I don't want to give them to them later yet. I want to get them now to them. So I took a picture of it as I'm sitting in the parking lot and sent them a, a picture of it via text. And so I stuffed the the battle ready cards in the side pocket of my vehicle. God had a different plan for those ready card, battle ready cards because just a few days after that sermon and having those battle ready cards in my vehicle, I picked up another woman. We had a great conversation and it allowed me to say, I have the perfect thing for you. So I was able to hand off that battle ready card to her. It's amazing how the door gets open when you least expected. I don't know how many I've handed out at this point, but there's been a ton. I, I don't know why. Yes, I'm vulnerable. They're vulnerable. Because it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a stranger. I don't know. They don't know me. But by the time I get out of that car with them, I feel like I've known them for a long time. It's amazing how the door gets open when you least expect it.